We are in Keshar's kitchen again, and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, zucchini kuku, and uh, it's very easy. What I've done here, I've got about 10 zucchinis, that's summer squash, and I've uh, peeled them and sliced them in round slices like this, and the reason I've done it ahead of time because you have to dry this. So I wash them and drain them and then I'll spread it over on a towel and uh, let, let it really get dry. And then we need to uh, fry this and I'll show you how to do that. So I've got about 10 zucchinis. I've got uh, maybe uh, four uh, eggs, some two, tea, uh, two tablespoons of flour, half a teaspoon of uh, baking powder, salt and pepper. Now I'm going to fry uh, the zucchini. I should start wearing apron here because all my shirts are got oil all over them. As you see, I'm just with any cuckoos uh, like uh, eggplant, which I'm going to show you that. Also, I'll have a video for that. And also uh, zucchini. These cuckoos, you have to uh, sort of fry, the, uh, fry them first. And then you will mash them and mix it with eggs and then put it in the pan again for kuku. Okay. Today I'm also uh, doing khoreshte uh, lubia. If you see any pots and pans around here, please go to my website, keshar.net, and watch the video. If you have any comments or any question, leave me a message, please. I'm going to add some salt. and some pepper. I would also add some turmeric. Make sure that they are mostly done on both sides. Doesn't take long, too long for zucchini. It just takes maybe five, ten minutes for these to be done. I use two frying pans, so I want this to be faster. If you don't mind, you can it will take longer. But what I do this way, they both will get done. If you want, you can do a half of them. Make sure that it's not too much uh, in a pan. So they will all have a chance to get cooked.
I also add some of my idea. This one I can say mine. <laughs> some of my idea to this. Yes. I'll just do a touch now, then I add more when I want to do the mix. Now, okay. After this is done, I'm going to put them all in one pan and cover it for another five, ten minutes, depending on how fast it gets done. Then I will mash them and mix it with eggs. Make sure that you don't pick up the hot pan with your bare hand. Just, uh, just by looking at them, you know, because it doesn't take uh, long, but it's, this is not done yet. So, but I'm, I'm going to steam it for a bit. You don't have to really fry, you just have to, um, because if you use raw uh, zucchini when you do the cuckoo, it, you're not going to like it, it won't taste right. You have, because the time that you spend, in the uh, pan is not enough for the cook to, uh, for the zucchini or the cuckoo to cook to the core. <laughs> so, okay. Now I'm gonna cover this. Let it sit for five minutes. And then I'll come back and show you how to make uh, mix it and blend it with uh, eggs. Okay. Lots of people ask about that, how you mix that. Can you talk about Saffron? Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is a regular, uh, you know, it's grated uh, saffron. I mix that with uh, hot water. And uh, I would suggest that you only make as much as you're going to use. And always keep your saffron in the freezer because they would change color. Don't, do not put it in a plastic jar because it would discolor. So it always has to be in a glass jar and you always mix enough that you can use the, same, the very same day. As you see, this is getting very sick. Now the zucchinis are cooked. I just want them to want to be able to mash them. So with a zucchini cuckoo, I do not use blender or a food processor because I want. I would like to have it in a way that you can see the zucchinis even though after they are made so you'll see the difference there are ways some people they may blend it and bring a liquid mixture and then put it in a pan but i like the zucchini to be uh, a little bit on the hard side See, now you can chop them and cut them, it doesn't matter because they're cooking and it's, that's what. So you, you know they're ready when they're soft? Yes, when they're soft. See right now, the way they look, 
for instance this one is done that's how you want it look the uh, you know when you can see that it's browning on the edges and when it's for instance this one isn't done yet so as you go and you start chopping them up you'll see the one that it's done see it just chops up and you can mash them this is sort of a combination of steaming and, and frying yes exactly exactly it's nice that you ask these questions <laughs> you know because uh, when you steam them and when you cook them it always cooks you know turns out better I'm gonna steam it a little bit you know oh, it's like to keep my cooking area clean I was thinking the other day about what is one thing that we all have in common one goal that we humans have in common and that's happiness we all want to be happy but we all go different ways because we are different so we use different ways to reach to this goal of ours which is happiness but one thing that really helps to reach this goal is to love and then be loved in return you remember i said to love and to be loved in return i didn't say to be loved in return and then love because first you have to love people before they love you this shows that you do not expect anything when you get into a relationship you have to give first, you have to give first. that's the key and then another key to happiness is to have the relationships where you want them to be happy with the relationship put in enough don't expect much so it's expectation bring your expectation down as much as you can and make sure that you have the ability to give as much as you can so and I, as I was saying you need to give more and expect less that is the key to the happiness The zucchini looks pretty happy. Yes, the zucchini is very happy. <laughs> I don't know if I was in a frying pan, I would be happy or not. <laughs> but another thing I was thinking that we are all creation of God. But, and we are supposed to be the closest thing because as God said, you are, I've created you the closest to who I am. But I think human beings are the most confused creation of God I've never seen anything else like plants you, you know the animals they all know what they're here for and they do their job but human beings are the most confused creation of God <laughs> okay this is ready So we are going to use the pan to Let's see I was going to go take a break and then come back and show you this but I think this is ready now going to use the K sharp blend at the I'm going to use saffron two, three, four, and one more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go here. Can you 
what do people have to do if they want to taste your food? <laughs> they just have to be lucky enough to live where I live. <laughs> and if you're locally here and you really want to be in the kitchen and uh, taste the food, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Pepper. And now I've got the flour here. What I'm gonna do with the flour, I'm gonna mix the flour and the baking powder. And then I'm going to, what I need to do is to mix this with some water. Let me turn on the music a little bit. This is the mixture of flour and baking powder. With this cuckoo, you don't need to use too much flour or baking powder, but. <coughs> and we're gonna start one. First I'm going to mix it, then I'm going to beat it. See, but what I mean is that I want some of the zucchinis to be Whole. I don't want the whole thing to be smashed so you know what you're eating. I'm going to add the oil to the pan. Enough to cover the bottom of the pan. I used about maybe the four uh, tablespoon. So the bigger the pan, the more, the more you need to use, yes. Because you want it to fry, so. Wow, some of it was already formed. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to also cover it. I'm 
I don't want any water in there. Okay, then we'll come back and I'll show you the presentation of cuckoo zucchini. Okay, we're back. First of all, I want to excuse myself because my shirt is so oily, but I didn't want to change because that's what I had on when we recorded the first part. So what I did with this uh, cuckoo was that I put it in the oven for uh, just about five minutes on the broil for the top to get firm. And I took a piece out. Now it's ready for me to flip them over. The reason that you see I put this foil, because when you put anything with plastic on it, in the oven, you have to cover them. So I just wanted you to, okay, be very careful. And I hope I can make it. You flip it over, see? <coughs> I personally, I'm going to leave a piece just the way it is for you to see uh, because Better it like looks that. better like this, meant for presentation. But because, well, why do we have to flip yeah, it over? because you want it's, you know if in case if you don't like the you want it really to be cooked. But because I have this, even though that I flip over, I don't think it's going to be as flat as this part. But normally, if you were to uh, mash the whole thing, you wouldn't see that it's a key. Like if you use yeah, the food, process. food processor or anything. But this way you will, you know, it looks much nicer and... Something underneath, bring it up, flip it over. So Keshar, why did you decide not to leave it in the oven? because it would dry out. Because if I would have left this in the oven, the yes, because if I would have left this in the oven to cook for the, on the top, it would dry and it won't be as moist as you want it. I'm, most of my cuckoos, I do it on the stove. And uh, as you know, my grandmother didn't have an oven. So that's why everything uh, tastes so uh, much more delicious the way uh, you cook it with the oil style. This looks so hard. Well, if you want, really, if you want it, uh, your food to look good and taste good, you have to give it a lot of love and uh, be patient because if you want it, it this is not spaghetti so I can't not just put it in there or cooking a, bo uh, a bowl of rice I think I'm going to turn everything over and okay I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit to get to brown on the other side and that this would be done. And then we'll be ready for the presentation. This would take only a few minutes, then we'll be done. So how about when you were separating them and you talked about the moisture? Yes, when you separate these, 
make sure while it was in the pan, I, it, I took some time to separate this so the juice would go to the bottom of the pan. If you let the juice to stay on top of the cuckoo when you make a cuckoo, is that the bottom of the cuckoo will get rough and tough and the top would be too soft. And when you flip it over, they won't have the same harmony all the way through. So that's why that you need to cut as soon as it's firm a little bit and let the juice go to the bottom so they all would be tasty and moist and at the same time firm. I think this is done. And I'm going to dish it. One piece I'm going to put this side up, the second piece I'm going to flip it over. Bon appétit.